Hi guys, now today we're going to take a little look at a couple of ICOs um, which, well, they were recently ICOs, they're now actually on exchanges and the price of uh, these coins or tokens during the recent drop that Bitcoin and the whole crypto market has gone through these coins have been annihilated but the ICOs were fantastic. Now I didn't actually buy into either of these during ICO but I certainly was interested and uh, now I'm very glad I didn't because like I say the price has been absolutely annihilated. They only just came onto the market sort of December time or early January. Now I think they would both come on in December and um, the price now is dirt cheap. Dirt, dirt cheap. So let's take a look at where we are on the markets right now. This is coin market cap and um, we can see Bitcoin has had a great run up now. We're, we're coming right out of the dip. Uh, Ethereum, I bought this uh, just last week, I think, at about $600. It's now $900 already. Uh, Ripple's right back up again. I think that was down in the sort of 50, 60 region and uh, back up over a dollar. Although, to be quite honest with you, it's not peaking like Bitcoin and Ethereum you see over here. Um, Ripple is down a bit. And if you've been trading Ripple for a while, you know this is quite common ground being relatively flat and going seemingly nowhere for a very long time and then it will just explode. So uh, Bitcoin Cash, oh hopefully it will explode, there's no guarantees. Uh, Litecoin has been fantastic, <laughs> what, what else can you say, Litecoin has been amazing, actually got this the other day, I think I paid a dollar and four cents, it was about one dollar four and now it's well over two hundred dollars so that's over doubled your money in a week that was that was great um but i actually sold off some of my litecoin uh just was it yesterday or the day before on etoro stellar lumens stellar lumens was the new coin to get added to etoro just a couple of days ago so um i sold off some of my litecoin bought some stellar but we're not going to here to talk about any of these projects. They're all very, very good because the ones I'm talking about today are not anywhere in the top 100. I mean, they are all the way down. So what we're going to be taking a look at, oh, that's it, CryptoPay. Where are we? If we come up here and we look for CPay, here we go, CryptoPay. So you can see it's been on a pretty hard downward spiral for quite some time. It came on just around the 1st of January or late December, December 28th. Okay, so it come on in that sort of hard period between Christmas and New Year. So maybe, maybe not the best time to come on or maybe it is. I don't know. Um, let's have a look. But it certainly didn't turn out very well for this anyway, let's face it. So it's just been on a downward spiral. The reason why it's uh, been so badly hit is because of what it is in essence, okay? So CryptoPay is one of these Bitcoin prepaid cards. And if you don't know recently, all of these cards, it's 10X, Wirex, obviously CryptoPay. Uh, there, there's a few others, I can't remember off the top of my head. But Wavecrest was a company which was basically allowing all of these cards to work. So they were like the card supplier that was working these cards. But Visa put a stop to it, a couple, uh, maybe about a month or so ago now, it was sometime in January, and now none of these cards work. None of them, not from any company. And CryptoPay, as you can see, that they only just, <laughs> they'd only just launched their ICO and just put it on an exchange. And pretty much almost, this must have been the dip here that you can see was the time. It, just that was the end of it so anyway right now we are ooh, was it about 10 cents yeah just over just over 10 cents and if you have a look at where they're going this was their ico page so they've been around since 2014 um, with a bitcoin payment gateway and then they launched a wallet and exchange in 2015 2016 was their prepaid card and then in 2017, what they've been working on is a Bitcoin stock brokerage. So the actual coin itself for the crypto pay is similar to Binance. So Binance have a Binance coin. I know that uh, Cryptopia also have a coin. And a lot of these exchanges have a coin. I think Cobin, Cobin Hood, that's another one. They've, they've got their own coin. Um, so Binance coin, you can see here, is $10. They've got a load of su supply, 
and uh, but it, it has picked before up nearly twenty dollars, so uh, it's down quite a bit right now. But basically, if CryptoPay was to be probably not anywhere near ten dollars, probably nothing near Binance, but um, certainly a lot more than ten cents. Okay, so let's put it like that. So if it goes to a dollar, you've done well. You know, you've ten times your money, and it's not sort of anything that you wouldn't expect you know I think it's quite fair value once they launch the exchange and get it up that you could be looking about a dollar on that coin possibly sort of reliable personally for myself I like um, Wirex so I have a, an account with Wirex crypto pay I kind of like but I'm not quite all the way there I think they're my number three company uh, for me it's Wirex number one Secondly, I like SpectroCoin, that's the Bankera company. And then third, I would choose CryptoPay <laughs> as, as a third option. Not, not the last resort option, but um, for me anyway. Anyway, this is all personal opinion, right? Obviously, I'm not a financial advisor. This is all my personal opinion that I'm sharing with you. You can go ahead, do your own research, do your own stuff, as you should. Why on earth anyone would take anybody's advice from somebody on YouTube, I don't know. I know there's a lot of uh, a lot going on with a guy called Crypto Nick right now. He was recently, he was a big YouTuber, had like 170,000 subscribers or something. He was promoting uh, the BitConnect thing that went down. And uh, now he's sort of took all his videos down, he's gone missing. But, you know, they're all blaming him. But he was a 17-year-old kid. I mean, who takes financial advice from a 17-year-old kid? <laughs> it's just madness, madness. Anyway, let's get on with the second coin. Now, this is where the biggest gainer is, in my opinion. This is the one with the most potential. I think CryptoPay is good. But this next one is absolutely unbelievable. This is called Dimcoin. Okay, now Dimcoin is currently under one cent. So I was looking at buying it last night. It was 0 0.6. I did put an, on an order to buy, but it didn't go through. So um, I had to actually buy in this morning about 0 0.7, 0 0.8. Uh, still under a cent, so I can't complain too much. Particularly when you see where it came from. Okay, so back in December when it launched, this was after its ICO, it launched, it was up at uh, 28 cents, what's that, about 30 cents at one point. Okay, straight after ICO, hit the exchange, went to 30 cents, and then came down, you know, and we had the um, the collapse of all the sort of cryptos around this time, so everything went down, but Dimcoin, being a project which had just got funding and then had no actual real product at that stage, and still hasn't now because they've only been going about a month, you know, into, into their project. But the, the coin itself, as I say, annihilated. It's come all the way down now. I think it went to like under half a cent. There it is about 0.4 of a cent, you know. And that, that's where I started getting interested to try and buy it. And uh, I've bought some now. You can actually buy this. Hang on, I'll get to that in just a minute. Let's talk about what Dimcoin is first of all. So it's based on the NEM technology, okay? So it's based on the NEM blockchain. Now NEM is currently going for about 50 cents. However, you know, in the past it's been up to about $2. So if it was half as good as NEM, you know, you'd base this around sort of 25 to 50 cents. And remember, it's under a cent right now, right? So NEM, they've basically copied NEM completely, I'll be honest. So they've got this Depot wallet instead of the NEM's Nano wallet. Uh, I think they're creating some sort of exchange as well, from what I know. If we have a look at what their vision is, you can see the DIM's vis uh, found foundation's vision is that DIM becomes a predominant payment means worldwide, accepted by global and wide network of points of acceptance for all kinds of goods and services. Furthermore, nearly everybody shall have the chance to invest in intrinsic values like stocks, bonds, gold, diamonds, commodities, even in intellectual property rights like soccer, football, all this stuff. Maybe even things like music industry and goodness knows what else, property. Everything can be um, tokenized in, in this dim platform so that, you know, you could have racehorses and split it up into like a thousand dim coins and say look this is worth a thousand dim coins and a bunch of investors come in and pay for it 
this is it. It's, it's basically the tokenization of assets, of real world assets that anybody in the world can invest in. Now, I think this is an absolutely fantastic idea. I really do. And I back any sort of project like this. I think this is a good thing for the future and for mankind and for people in general. It's, it certainly beats sticking your money into a bank, into a savings account and a 0.0025% interest per year. <laughs> okay. You can actually choose to invest your own money in whatever it is, you know, and with, with DIM, the DIM foundation, the DIM coin, it's something that you can do with that. Um, it looks cool. I like this. I, I really do like this. They have another website here, which is, um, or is that the same one? Looks like the same one. Oh yeah, that's, there's their other website. You can see here they're listed on HitBTC. There's a link for HitBTC down below if you want to go join that if you're not already a member. Um, not really much to say. Yeah, basically, look, 9 billion coins, which is exactly the same as NEM. And um, everything they're doing is pretty much exactly the same as NEM. <laughs> okay. Whether or not they're going to be as big as NEM, who knows. Um, and how they're going to differentiate themselves with NEM, why people wouldn't just go to NEM and, and do this tokenization themselves, how easy it will be, I don't know. But um, anyway, they're working on it. Looks a good team. They've got a good good team of guys there. And um, yeah, check it out, guys. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say too much about it. I'm just going to say check it out for yourself if you're interested. Now, I haven't been paid to um, promote any of these and I've been prayed to do anything at all to be honest with you. You can see I bought some dim coin earlier on just 4,000. Not a massive amount because that's all I had on the exchange at the time last night. I'll probably put some transfer some more over later. As you can see I don't take hold a lot on the exchange as I'm always telling people you know use the exchange buy the coins take it off put it on hardware wallet like all my crypto pay. Last night I just took off a load. I left 20 on just so that I can see the price. You know, there's one thing I've noticed when it's on hardware wallet, you've got no idea what the price is doing. So if you just leave a little bit on, you can sort of track how well it's doing. Um, that's about it guys. That's about all, all I've got to tell you today. Um, Cause my mind is going blank if I'm completely honest with you. So it's a bit of a bit of a rush video today. It was Valentine's day yesterday. So I didn't have a lot of time to prepare or come up with any awesome super awesome content but um, I hope you've enjoyed it and I shall see you again tomorrow